What is up, guys? This is The Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest taste. You can check out the YouTube channel at The Vinyl Casket, where you can subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell for much, much more. This is none other than a TV show review, season one, Bada Bing High School. This is the Free V original. I watched this through Amazon Prime uh, with commercials. It was not bad. Um, honestly, the commercials are very variable, very short. I didn't even feel like I was watching something like that. Um, and it was good. It was very good. It was a really good show. Um, I highly recommend you you checking out, even if you don't know anything about it and you don't listen to a word that I'm about to say about this review. I want you to check it out because I think it's really good. I want to make sure there's a season two. Um, this released in October of 2022. It is currently May of 2023. Uh, took me a while to get the get on this. Uh, found the show through clips on TikTok, which is where I find a lot of really interesting shows. Uh, I see the clips and I get excited. Uh, this is about Tegan and Sarah, which is an Australian uh, singer songwriter group of sisters from Calgary. Um, this f is the title of the show, as well as a memoir that they wrote uh, about their life and about high school and finding music and their relationship as sisters growing into partners and into mu musicians and getting the career that they have touring around the world. Uh, really awesome concept and it was executed here so well. Uh, I didn't know it was based off a memoir until after looking that up. Um, the only notable actress that I knew on this show was, uh, I always forget her name, Kobe Sm Smolders. Uh, you probably know her from being Agent, Agent uh, not Agent Carter. Um, oh, who is she in the MCU? She's a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Oh, uh, that hurts. But she's in um, her major role is How I Met Your Mother. Um, and she's made appearances in How I Met Your Father. And she's in a whole bunch of stuff. I believe she is Canadian, so this would track. And I really enjoyed her performance here as the mother of, of Tegan and Sarah. I think she did a really good job. Uh, that plot line of, first off, Every single character in here gets like a plot line, whether it's short and like 10 minutes or it's the span of the entire series. Um, they all get a, a really nice attention to detail. It's only eight, eight episodes, only eight episodes. Runtime is good question between 27 and 30 minutes. We'll say that's the average between that range, which is really good for fast easy to consume tv um technical we'll get that out of the out of the bag right filmed great transitions great soundtrack great music choice great um the you the plot revolves around their love of music and interest in music and learning how to play the guitar by themselves very quickly so i felt like all the shot selection transitions editing uh, music selection, composition, all that fit really nice to what this was and the time period of it and who these girls were supposed to be portraying. And I think the technical aspect from lighting to sh uh, shot selection through camera blocking was spot on. Room design, a set design was incredible. Uh, as well as wardrobe, I think they did a really good job on this show. Uh, now moving on to the plots. I think the plots were great. The major overarching is obviously we're seeing them uh, struggle with being teenagers, entering high school as ninth graders, leaving the school and their f best friend uh, behind who's going to a, a French immersion school and leaving her behind and having to start new relationships. They start the summer... They end the summer with them getting into a fight uh, because one that punches the other. They have a black eye. They don't realize that the girl who got hit was actually is actually dating, having a relationship with their best friend. So 
all three of those relation they like three way friendship gets kind of split and the other girl doesn't realize so she goes out trying to make her own friends she does have a friend group on one end which one of her friends gets jealous of her reconnecting with her sister later on it's very like plot heavy there's like a lot of very con- uh, like overlapping plots that boost each other up and i don't think any one plot overwatches another so that's really cool um but basically you see them start off hating each other, you know, not understanding why the other one can't really tell. And then, um, them slowly get together. Then there's, you know, they pull apart, then they get together. Then the music is what really cements them together and brings their friend group into it, pushes certain people out. Uh, but we end the season with them going to play their first show and it kind of hitting rock bottom and not happening because of a bunch of different reasons. Um, and I'm really excited to get season two and hopefully see where we go from that point. Um, I think the way drugs are depicted in this time period and in the show is really interesting and cool. Uh, I like how they reference Degrassi. I like how they reference a whole bunch of other Canadian stuff. And I really enjoyed this show. I can't say it anymore. Uh, I read them out of five. I'm going to give this one a 4.9. I think there's, I think it's a little slow in like the first episode or two. There's a couple small plot holes, but nothing crazy. Um, It's definitely not a fast paced show for anyone like that wants action. There's none there, but it's good. It's a good storytelling and it's based off of real events and on a memoir. So I'm highly recommending this. Check it out on freebie on Amazon Prime. Check it out. It's really good. Um, And with that being said, check out the vinyl casket all one word home to lame mistakes on youtube where you can subscribe like and comment hit the bell for much much more get in the comments i want to talk about it with you guys and i need you to do me a favor i need you to do me one favor and that is besides subscribe is staying lame